Here I'll show you how to restart the Windows print spooler, just in case you're having issues with uh, printing and the stability of trying to do so. So you can click on the Start button and type in the word Services. And that should bring you the Services app icon. So you can go ahead and click on that. You can maximize that for a better view and uh, say just next to name here at the top, you can put your cursor just on the line between name and description, click and drag to the right, and you'll be able to see the names better here. So they're in alphabetical order generally. If not, you can, you can click on name once or twice to get them that way. And um, we're going to scroll down to print spooler right here. So in this case, it's already running, right? So I can right click and, for example, choose restart. And I'll get a little dialog box here uh, telling me that it's attempting to restart it. Now, um, in some cases, you'll find that it's not running. So uh, we can simulate that easily enough. I can right click and say stop. And when it's not running, you'll see that it does not say running under the status uh, column here. And uh, if you want to see the descriptions, you can also pull description to the right. But uh, at this point, if you found that it's not running at all, you can right click and choose start. Right. So um, there's many reasons, of course, why the print spooler may uh, become unstable or stop altogether and need restarting or starting. Um, a big reason um, will be that your uh, printer drivers are unstable or out of date, right? And the, the best way of, generally speaking, of making sure that they're as stable as possible is getting the latest version from uh, the manufacturer's website. So if you have an HP printer, uh, you can you know look up the model number on uh, the HP site uh, where you can download drivers and they'll show you uh, the driver downloads for that. And just grab the latest one and install that and that will often solve your problem. So hopefully this has helped a bit in troubleshooting the print spooler. Thanks for watching.